Hello, this is trigonometry lesson three. In this, I will discuss maximum and minimum value of trigo functions. Now, first of all, I will discuss y is equals to sine x. Here, what is y? Y is the output values, and x is the input values. Now, what will be the domain of this function? Domain means uh, the set of input values we can put. Now, we can put any values of x. So domain would be r or you can say that minus infinity to infinity. It means that sign is defined for each and every real number. We put x is equals to 1, you put x is equals to pi, you put x is equals to 350, and you put x is equals to minus 350, minus 360, 1000, minus 1000, any values of x, sign will be defined, sign x will be defined. Now what is the range or output for all real numbers? Now this is the output diagram of y is equals to sin x. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. This gives you output, this gives you input. Now this is 0, sin 0 is 0. This value is equals to 1. This is sin pi by 2. Sin 90, you know that it is equals to 1. This is equals to pi. Sin 180, we know that this is equals to 0. This is 3 pi by 2. Sin 270, this is equals to minus 1. This is equals to minus 1. This is minus 1. And sin this is 2 pi, this is also equals to 0. And same will be true for negative. This is minus pi by 2. This is minus 1. Minus pi, it is 0 minus 3 pi by 2 this is equals to 1 and minus 2 pi sine is again 0 and this will continue this wave will continue so can i say that the range range or you can say the output set for sine will always lies between minus 1 and 1 including both so very very important the minimum value of sine x is equals to minus 1 this is the minimum value of sin x, this is equals to minus 1 or minimum value of any sin of any angle. Maximum value of sin function is 1 where x can be any real number. So maximum value, you put any value of x, sin x maximum value would be 1. You put any value of x, sin x minimum value will be minus 1 and there will be values that will lies in between these two. But minimum is minus 1, maximum value of sin x is 1 and there will be in between values 0 0.1, 0 0.2, minus 0 0.2 but minimum and maximum. So this is the range minus 1 to 1 range of y is equals to sin x. So domain is minus infinity to infinity and range is minus 1 to 1. Minimum value will be minus 1, maximum value would be plus 1. And there will be in between value, there will be 0, there will be 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and so on so on. So that was about the sin x. Next function I am going to discuss y is equals to cos x. Now here x is the input, your x is the input values and y is the output. Now what, what range or what kind of input you can put? So domain means the input, input set, you can put any values of x minus infinity to infinity you can see that r cos is defined for each and every values of x and output or you can see that range of this function y is equals to cos x again it will be minus 1 to 1 both sin x and cos x lies between minus 1 and 1 you put any values of x you will get cos x as well as sin x value as in between minus 1 and 1. Minimum value of again cos x would be minus 1 and the maximum value of cos x would be plus 1. You can see in the diagram this is the, y, this is the graph of y is equals to cos x. This graph is very important you must understand this graph. 0 cos 0 is equals to 1 this is 1 this is 90 pi by 2 cos 90 is equals to 0 this is 180 cos pi is equals to minus 1 this is minus 1 this is 3 pi by 2 again 0 
2 pi again 1 so that's how the cos function goes same in the negative uh, negative side but important thing here to understand is that the minimum value of cos x or cos function will be minus 1 maximum value of cos function will be plus 1 and there will be in between these value there will be 0 there will be 0.5 there will be 0.7 there would be 1 by 3 there would be 1 by root 2 but all will lies between minus 1 and 1 next is equals to y is equals to 10 x now here again the do domain or input values you can put any values of x from minus infinity uh, to infinity or real number now surprisingly the range for tan x also is r you can get any values in the output range or output set also be r is equal to minus infinity to infinity it means that you put any values of x you will get some values of y and the range or output values of y also r it means that you can get any value of tan x function tan x can be infinity almost or tan x can be minus infinity up to and in between all the values tan x can be 50,000 tan x can be 0 0.1 so this is the range tan 0 is 0 you can see that at tan 90 is infinity this is approaching infinity this is tan minus 90 this is also infinity this is tan pi is 0 tan 180 and tan 270 again approaching infinity this is a graph of y is equals to tan x. So you understand the uh, three graphs sin x, cos x and tan x. So tan x maximum minimum values are up to infinity and minus infinity both are the maximum. So there is no maximum value you can say that infinity means you can't determine what will the maximum value. So, so tan x you can't have a maximum and minimum values. Now we have did the minimum maximum value of sin x cos x. Combined function a sin x plus b cos x plus c there is a different pattern to calculate the minimum and maximum value so just remember this c is a constant we have to consider this its minimum value is a sin x plus b cos x where a and b are constant they can be positive or negative its minimum value would be negative of a square b square square root and its maximum value would be positive of a square plus b square now this this value always means positive square root so this root is not negative root 36 is always positive so this un under root value is always positive and outside we apply plus and minus so minimum value of this is minus of root a square plus b square maximum of this will be this overall considering c so the minimum and maximum minimum c will remain as it is minimum will be c minus a square plus b square whole square root that is the minimum value of this function because c is a constant you have to keep it as it is maximum would be c plus c as it is this is a square plus b square so maximum value of this function is c plus root a square plus b square and minimum value is c minus root a square minus b square so that was all about the maximum minimum values of trigo function the basics the questions i will discuss in the next lesson thank you